Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and I just thought that today we would kind of talk about amendments of the soil. Now, you got to remember that I'm just a, I'm an avid gardener, but I'm not a professional. I just know what works for me. And I live in Taos, New Mexico, so the, the soil is different than maybe yours. The climate's definitely different. It's, it's, uh, it's drier here and so forth. But I think what I'm going to show you are things that you can use no matter where you live. Now, first, though, I'm going to show you this. This is there. It's called a Coco Bliss. And uh, so it's it's just really compressed cocoa. And I can't even I was going to take this apart. OK, I'm going to put it in water. And what's going to happen, it's going to turn into this. And, and it does it in a matter of <laughs> literally minutes. This is wonderful for your soil. You can put it on top, you can put it in, in the soil. I put it in the soil when I mix, and it's just awesome because it gives, um, it, it helps the soil aerate. So, I mean, I, I love it. You can see how this is beginning. I don't even have enough water in here. It's, it's soaking it up so fast. It's, it's like, it's growing. It's going to be way up here because this was one. But anyway, there are some things that I think that would help in building the soil and it's worm castings. You can buy um, a bag of them like this. I make sure that I get the organic kind because I don't want a lot of chemicals in the soil. I love this just because it helps with the, it helps new, um, it helps fertilize the soil in a very natural way because the worms get in there and they break up everything and then they also poop and that was, that's good fertilizer. So make sure that you add a little bit of this. The other thing is I use mushroom compost. I love mushroom compost. I mix it with the soil. I mix it with a little bit of um, topsoil. And so that really helps. And then the other thing that I use is the Japanese tool called, I think it's Hori Hori. Um, I may be pronouncing that wrong. If I if I am, I'm, I apologize. This is the best tool you'll ever 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 get. It's serrated on one side and sh and just plain on the other. Goes right into the soil, helps break it up, and it's just really comfortable. So if you want to get something like this, that would be probably awesome. You know. Um, there's also bat poo and so forth. You have to be careful with that. It's very strong, but it's very good. Mix it with the soil and so forth. But, you know, when you do a garden, it's like painting. It's like any artistic endeavor. It's got to be planned. But the basic foundation, which is your amendments that you're giving to the soil, are very important. Yours, it, your things are knowledge. You're trying new techniques every year. Learn something every month. Learn something. There's so much to learn. So, I think that this would be an awesome thing if you if you could relate gardening and how you garden to your art. You're going to have two good things. You're going to have great art. You're going to have a great garden. But a great garden starts with the foundation, and that's with these amendments. Now, look look how tall this is, and it was it was this thick. So you just, you just put this in the soil, and it's just fantastic. So anyway, if you've got any questions, let me know. I love doing these for you. But... Um, have a great day. Make sure you subscribe because I have a lot more coming. I got some great ideas. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.